on today's video we'll be working on this AC that's not running what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull our panel this will give us access to our contactor and our capacitor what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press my contactor and I'm gonna basically bypass my thermostat and see if the condenser unit will turn on so my compressor turned on and my condenser fan motor turned on whenever I do this this is me basically testing the system so right now I know that everything outside is running properly right now I have my leads on my low voltage to my contactor and I can see here that I do not have low voltage coming to this contactor So here I'm at the thermostat it's set to the cool and auto setting what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the panel and I'm going to check the low voltage wiring. So here I'm at the thermostat. I have my leads on power coming in. And then I also have it on the Y terminal, which is going to be for my condensing unit. And you can see here, I do not have voltage coming in to my thermostat. Okay, so here I'm at my furnace board. I can see here when I look inside the sight glass that my board doesn't have any power. So obviously what I want to do is I want to check the incoming power. Here's my non-contact voltage detector. And here I'm not getting any reading. I'm checking for voltage. And my thermostat shows me that there is no voltage going to the actual power source for my furnace board. It may not be an outlet like this, it may be a switch on a wall, so you'll have to test that as well. This is my circuit breaker that gives me the necessary voltage to my furnace. You can see here it's in the trip position, so I'm going to turn it off. Let's see if I can turn it back on. You see it just trips right away. Point. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this access panel then I want to check the amperage coming into the circuit breaker just to make sure we're not over amping on startup. Here I have my multimeter set to amperage. You can see I have the breaker on the on position and I'm not getting any amp draw at this point. I'm going to test the breaker to see if I have voltage a voltage reading for my breaker. So right now, I don't have any voltage at this breaker. And this indicates to me that the breaker is going to be the problem. If you're unsure how to replace a circuit breaker, I do have a video posted on my channel showing you how to replace your circuit breaker from beginning to end. My breaker that I removed, you can see here, usually you should be able to reset the breaker. I'm gonna turn our replacement breaker on. I'm checking my voltage reading. So I have 120 volts to my breaker. I'm going to check the amperage. So here, we're almost at 5 amps. This is a 15 amp circuit breaker, so we're well below. My thermostat is set to the cool and auto setting. Here, we're outside at the condensing unit, and you can see here that it is running. If this video was a help, if it was informational, please subscribe.